Hey, so welcome back to the channel. It has in fact been a while since I last made a tutorial video like this, um, but I feel like doing it again, so hey, why not? So I'm gonna be very quickly making a series of videos, so maybe five or six videos about Laravel. Uh, so as many of you may know, um, I use Laravel day to day uh, for all of my sort of projects, all of my side projects and stuff, um, because I think it's a really powerful framework and it makes it so much easier to develop in PHP than if you were to go just vanilla PHP pretty much. And the other reason I'm making these videos is because I feel like the Laravel documentation is slightly lacking. And not because the guys at Laravel are doing anything wrong, I think they're doing a really good job and their documentation is so clear, it really is good. Um, but I think it's quite lacking if you're a beginner who perhaps is new to PHP or doesn't have much experience with PHP frameworks. Um, I think it'd be a really good idea to have this sort of brief introduction of how frameworks actually work and what the whole advantage is. Because if you look at the, uh, the Laravel site, it doesn't really make it that clear. So Laravel is essentially an MVC framework. And a lot of you may have heard this term MVC and not really have a clue what it means. Um, it's kind of one of those terms that you just pretend to know what you mean when you see it written down. Um, but let me explain it. So an MVC framework stands for Model View Controller. And as you may have guessed, these are the three segments that make up the MVC framework. So let me just give a brief definition for all of them. So the first part being the model, uh, the model is how we link into the database, or it's usually a database, but it could be other things. But in the case of Laravel, it is a database. So here's how we'd use it. For example, let's say we want to store a list of vehicles that are parked in a parking lot. So the way we do this is we create a model for car, and this would reference one singular car only, and this would be inside of a cars table. So we'd have this cars table, and then we could reference each individual car by one row in that table, using the cars model or the car model. And there's this whole thing about where you don't pluralize the name of the model, uh, but you pluralize the name of the table. It'll make sense later, but essentially what you need to know if you didn't understand any of that is that a model is pretty much any tangible item. So one singular tangible item. Technically it doesn't need to be tangible. It could be like a comment or an article or a video, but let's just think of it as a tangible object. The next segment is the view. Not entirely sure why Alexa felt the need to join in there, but hey. But anyway, uh, the view is the output to the user. So think of this like the HTML file that's generated as a result of your project doing whatever it does. So it generates this HTML output, sends it to the user, the user can see it. it doesn't have to be HTML, it could be like JSON or an image or a graph or something, I don't know. But it, think of it just as the output to the user. And the final part is the controller, and this is where all the logic happens. So the controller can kind of act like the middleman between the model and the view, and the controller can do all sorts of logic, so any mathematics or database lookups, or maybe you want to do some encryption before you send it to the user or something like that. All of that happens in the controller. The controller handles all of the logic uh, for your project. And that's like the three main segments of an MVC framework. Obviously Laravel has tons of other features added on top of this, like encryption, hashing, uh, passport, authentication, etc. And we will get into some of those in these videos, but that's pretty much the general introduction. So as I say, I'm teaching this course in the way that I would wanna learn. So the MVC part, a lot of people don't actually learn this until they're quite well into Laravel. They learn about query building and stuff like that, all the useful stuff but they don't learn how to properly make use of the MVC. And that's why I'm teaching that first, because it's super important to, to base all of your learning on top of that. You'll see what I mean later on in this course when I try and explain all the benefits of it. Uh, but for now, I just want you to know that I'm teaching this exactly how I would wanna learn. So I do recommend like not skipping videos and actually watching them in order. And that way, hopefully you'll learn everything and not cut corners in the future. So anyway, thanks for watching and go and check out the next video.